So when I first uh, pulled the trigger and actually purchased this bender um, and got it in the mail, I was going to assemble it and decided I would go ahead and put up a video for you guys just to, I just threw it together for fun, honestly, in practice. And uh, it ended up being one of my most viewed videos. So I decided since I'm installing this at the new shop here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a one year review video or you know just another assembly installation video. Uh, let you guys know what I think, you know, how it's held up. So yeah. So the Viver tubing bender uh, lists at $799.99, making it one of the cheapest benders that I could find on the market. Now, Vivor does mention on their site that it's not designed to bend hollow tubing or pipe, uh, but that's what I bought it for specifically, and it's worked exceptionally well for me. Out of the box, it comes with three dies, a uh, one inch by three inch die. It also has a one and a half by five inch die and a two inch by six inch die. My review essentially, uh, pros list would just be, you know, it works great for the price. It does exactly what I intended it to do. Um, I haven't had any issues with it really. It's, you know, a little janky, a little sloppy, but overall it does what I need it to do. Um, so I'm happy with the purchase. Yeah, it's solid, it's cheap, it's functional. I haven't had an issue so far using half inch concrete anchors, so I used those again this time and they worked really well.
That's good enough for me.